Today I'm going to show you how to get your GameCube games to show up on your USB Loader GX and to be able to play them straight from there. Now before we get into it, I've tried the same things that I'm about to show you with a USB stick where the where Nintendo and the GameCube games are on a USB drive, but it still wouldn't work. It would come up with there wasn't the boot.dol file, but there was uh, after restarting it, then said it just wouldn't support games unless they're on an SD card. If you aren't using an SD card, this might not work for you. If you figure out a way, just let me know and that would be great. But for this video, we're going to get our GameCube games to show up with our Wii games. So essentially the first thing that you got to check is go to the hotbar to the fourth from the left, select loader mode and then make sure GameCube games are selected. I'm going to turn off Wii games just to make it easier to see. Uh, select GameCube games and let them show up. As you can see, mine show up here. And if yours don't, here's what you need to do. So in the bottom left, go into the settings. Go over where you find custom paths. And we just have to manually tell the USB loader where to look. So if you scroll down, we're looking for Nintendo. So the first one, the main GameCube path, we're going to make sure this is SD card games. If it's something different, you'll have to change it. Mine's already set there, but if yours isn't, just go find your games folder where your, uh, where your games are and press OK. Path changed. And then also set your SD GameCube path to the same one so that it shows your GameCube games. Now go down to Nintendo Loader Path and make sure it's on the proper one. So if you click on it, we'll go back here. On the root, we're going to click Apps and we're going to find Nintendo. Right here. Just click on it and press OK. It should look like this SD slash apps slash Nintendo and your GameCube path should be SD card slash games. And that should be all you need to do to make sure they show up. So let's go back and let's click and play Simpsons Hit and Run. So we're in USB Loader GX. We don't even have to go to Nintendo and we can load the game straight from here. If it'll load, Jesus, take it. Ah, there we go. I always forget that Nintendo, you need a classic controller, a GameCube controller. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you found this helpful and you now have your GameCube game showing up on USB Loader, make sure to like the video and uh, if you ran into any issues or if you figure out how to get the GameCube games to be able to be played off a USB drive through USB Loader GX, let me know down below uh, so I can update this tutorial for that. But anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.